We want to interrupt the takeout and take you to the White House, where President Trump is holding a news conference on the coronavirus. Let's listen in. All of those incredible people that have worked for so long on our endless war in Afghanistan, 19 years, going on 20 years, and there hasn't been a moment like this. We've had uh, very successful negotiations. We think they'll be successful in the end. The other side's tired of war. Everybody's tired of war. That's been a particularly long and gruesome one. And I want to congratulate President Ghani and the people of Afghanistan. I want to remember all of the people, all of the great, great men and women that have lost their lives in the war and to their parents and wives and husbands and families, brothers and sisters. Uh, it's a great, great people. Many lives over such a long period of time have been lost. I want to thank our wounded warriors, people that are still bearing pain and all of the problems that they've had to go through. And, they're incredible people, incredible spirit. I'd go to Walter Reed and see them so often, and the spirit they had, they wanted to go back. Despite their wounds, they always said, I want to go back. Uh, wounded warriors, they're incredible people. I guess most of all, I want to thank all of the people in the United States for uh, having spent so much in terms of blood, in terms of treasure and treasury, uh, the money that has been spent, the lives that have been lost. And we just signed an agreement uh, that puts us in a position to get it done, bring us down to in the vicinity of 8,000 troops. The United Nations was uh, informed of everything. And NATO has been uh, great. Secretary Stoltenberg has been fantastic. And I want to thank uh, the United Nations for the help they gave. And I also want to thank and congratulate Secretary Stoltenberg of NATO. 29 countries involved and all approving, all very happy with what's going on. I want to also thank and congratulate Secretary of State Pompeo and Secretary of Defense Mark Esper. And I'll be meeting personally with Taliban leaders in the not too distant future. And we'll be very much hoping that they will be doing what they say they're going to be doing. They will be killing terrorists. They will be killing some very bad people. They will keep that fight going. We've had tremendous success in Afghanistan in the killing of terrorists, but it's time after all these years to go and to bring our people back home. We want to bring our people back home. And uh, again, it's been, it's been a long journey in Afghanistan in particular. It's been a very long journey. It's been a it's been a hard journey for everybody. We're very largely a law enforcement group, and that's not what our soldiers are all about. They're fighters. They're the greatest fighters in the world. As you know, we've destroyed in Syria and Iraq 100 percent of the ISIS caliphate, 100 percent. We have thousands of prisoners. We've killed ISIS fighters by the thousands and likewise in Afghanistan. But now it's time for somebody else to do that work, and that'll be the Taliban. And it could be surrounding countries. There are many countries that surround Afghanistan that can help. We're 8,000 miles away. So we'll be bringing it down to 8,000 to approximately 8,600 in that vicinity. And then we'll make our final decision uh, some point in the fairly near future, but this was a uh, very uh, spirited agreement.
there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of talk. There was a lot of everything. They've been trying to get this for many years, and just it's time. So I just want to thank everybody. I want to congratulate everybody. Uh, I really believe the Taliban wants to do something to show that we're not all wasting time. If bad things happen, we'll go back. I let the people know we'll go back, and we'll go back so fast, and we'll go back with a force like nobody's ever seen. And I don't think that will be necessary. I hope it's not necessary. And uh, so I just wanted to bring that up before we begin.